21 crit rate, not crit. Uh, so this game's Korean. The translation's kind of iffy. Um, the uh, crit damage rate is actually the uh, crit multiplier. Uh, so if your crit damage rate is plus 100%, it doesn't mean you're critting more often. It means you're doing an extra... Um, You're doing an extra blank amount of damage uh, to whatever you're hitting. So, say, you know, for this right ne right here, 10% critical percent chance and also an extra 100% damage on top of the presumably 100%. So, I do 200% on a crit. Uh, I guess 300% total damage. Um, Let's see, we're full health, so I can just head for the door, I think. There we go. Yeah, it's it's weird. And I'm sorry if it's confusing, but I uh, can't do much about it. What if I could, I could actually, like, contact the developers and be like, you want me to translate it for you? Like, I'm, uh, I'm, I have a fair idea of, like, what you probably intended with a lot of these things. Ow, stupid dog. Dog only did four damage to me, though. Like, I barely take damage here. We are the complete opposite of the last run. We st still... We're still doing a fair amount of damage, too. Like, I, I don't have the power. This is not a He-Man run. Last run was a He-Man run. This this is a kind of... Dang it. This is just kind of a run. Ow, spikes. Both sides are spikes. That's annoying. I'm just taking so many spikes, green bat. I don't know if you know what? I know I want the green bat. This is a this is a run where having the green bat on would be a good idea. Let's take off the ring of Midas for the green bat. So the reason why I want the green bat is because it practically doubles my damage output. And it's also more accurate than I am. Uh, which is di distressing, probably-ish. But that's okay. What if uh, it's affected by base base damage increases? I don't, I don't know if I can crit with this thing. This is the... Uh, fight room that never ends. Isn't this like the third wave of enemies that we fought? Eh, I guess it is, probably. Yeah, I could go for the hand crossbow. A little bit more, uh... Let's see. Gotta go a little bit further. Okay, so every room reduces the number by two. Yeah, I'll have to test it at some point to see if increasing your maximum, um, your, your maximum, like, food, uh, whatever the stat is, satiety, Incre uh, if increasing that actually increases how much, you, like, you burn, too. You probably don't, but still. Okay, so we want to go back here. Oh. <sighs> I am bushed. Been playing a lot of good games today. D. D games. Right? Deep Rock Galactic and uh, Dungreed? Yeah. Ow. But yeah, if you can tell, we're already... We are tanking so much harder than we were the last the last run. Like, the last run was scary. It, it's kind of like a, a less brutal version of the Lost. And you can kind of manage it based on, like, what items you have in your inventory. Okay, let's see if I can hit him. Unfortunately, hitting him sometimes comes is a little hard. Whatever. 
Yeah, the throwing knife's accuracy uh, leaves much to be desired. By, well, every everyone, everything. It's, it's very random. Sup, Croc? I want a Croc skin for this game where you just put, what is this? Huh. So, Torch is an offhand. It's really good. Uh, damage 1 to 3. 14 power, burn attack. That's a really good offhand. I'm not going to use it. But it's really good. Okay, so we get the armor. We don't want the mirror of the mummy. Yeah, Torch is nice. I will, I will gladly use that in the future. But not this run. Okay, there is no reason for me to go up here. Okay, so let's go back here. Let's pray that was enough. Yes, that was more than enough. Food shop. Defense. Defense is up to 73. You know, I should probably actually go back to the altar. Let's just go burn things. Yeah, we have some armor now. My defense is really close to maximum. Well, presumably maximum. We don't actually know what the maximum is. We don't know if there is a maximum. I'm going to get rid of the spatula. I like the spatula, but uh, not for this time. Anyway. Let's get back here. Heal up. I am very slow. I have more D than health now. As it should be. I'm actually doing a stupid amount of damage for for the situation that I'm working with. Like, I thought I would be, um... I thought uh, I'd be having a tougher time of this, but I am clobbering her. She hasn't hit me once. Okay, now she's hitting me. I didn't kill them as fast this time around. Greed bad is nuts if you've got the, uh, the right build to work with it. I'm just going to tank the damage. Who cares? Okay, we got the Ring of Madness. 50 power. Uh, I'll hold on to it. I don't know if I'm going to use it. If, if it turns out that I can... Oh, I don't actually know if I need that. Uh, you know what? I'll stack the 3D... 3D for the ability to self-heal. We're already at the exit. Wow, that was a short level. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the Dragon's Hammer, also kind of a fun idea. But totally just garbage for what I'm doing. I was really hoping defense. I do hope that there is a uh, higher tier throwing knife at some point. And yeah, the dragon's hammer looks cool. It does look cool. It looks like a weapon out of uh, a different game, though. Like, it, it looks like it belongs in Starbound. I think more than this. Not that that says much. Okay, that's my green bat. Was confused for a moment. Ow, 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 ow. That barely did damage to me. I need more crit. Oh, yeah. I definitely need more crit. I'm also getting, like, a fair bit better at dodging attacks in the game. Oh, man, if I could get the... I'm, I'm really curious what this is going to be like when I hit max level. Like, I'm going to have 
base 20 of every stat, right? 20? Something like that, give or take. Let's see, I wonder if you remember Flame Break. I remember Flame Break, it was lovely. That was a really fun game. I, I felt bad for the developers because it was definitely one of those roguelikes that deserved a little bit more attention than it got. Oh, hi. Three-tier baton might not be a bad uh, melee weapon to work with, honestly, with this kind of build. But yeah, Flame Break was awesome. It was weird. It had some really cool... Uh, it had some really cool features to it that, like, I wish more roguelikes had. Unfortunately, um... Uh, you know, like all roguelikes, you have to kind of stop playing after a while, because there's so many! And there's so many. So I can only ever play them for, like, you know, a little while. I give them more attention than most people do, though. I'm actually always kind of surprised that uh, more YouTubers don't co cover roguelikes. I guess it's kind of one of those where the idea of infinitely cyclical content... Um... <gasps> yes! Dwarven Armor! Oh, Dwarven Armor! Uh, get out of here, Monocle. Hello, Dwarven Armor. What is my defense at? 82! Oh, they added, uh... They added Nightmare for... Uh, flame break. That's cool. I think I actually did play nightmare mode. I I think I did. There was a lot. Okay. I'm really curious how much damage I take right now. Uh Okay, the answer is I don't. I got I got a face full of spear and it did nothing to me. Watch me become invincible. I'll have to get the, the, um, I'll have to get the perk that makes it so I don't take, uh, elemental damage. Oh, there's leather armor. Do I, I gotta keep the green bat, though. I'll use it if I have to get up to max, but, uh, I'm assuming there are certain damage types that are gonna hurt me. Yet, they don't hurt, they don't hurt! <laughs> yes! Okay. I think he hit me for one damage. Yeah, one more Dwarven Armor, and then I'll be invincible. Yup! Unfortunately, they're fairly rare, but uh, a couple of food buffs will do it, too. Let's see, I don't know if I've already got the defense food. Well, let's go check. Nope, haven't gotten defense food yet. I can almost get the crit food. Welcome to the Clank Warrior, dude. He's good. I kind of want to pick up the boomerang. Uh, you know what? Maybe I should. No, I shouldn't. It, mm, nah, 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 nah. I'm not sure. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna replace the uh, blunderbuss with it. Main reason is blunderbuss is kind of awkward. I'm gonna need something to kind of hit his dudes uh, during the boss fight. Admittedly, we've got a little while. Bamboo sword plus green bat. Uh, green bat has. I actually don't know if that's an interesting question. Huh. Well, I gotta save for that defense buff. Did you ever play Unexplored? I did. I didn't like Unexplored that much. Yeah, so I'd take about one damage per per enemy strike. So if I can get um, a little bit more defense, I'll be unstoppable. We will need that elemental... Okay, broke their AI for a bit. Oh no, whatever. Oh shit! One of them did four damage to me! Okay, so I can't face tank as much as I want to. Which is unfortunate, but not surprising.
But it does mean that I can just... You can just hit me two times. Uh, yeah, could've. I don't know. Okay, uh, let's go get the next defense buff. Hello! I'm here for my daily dose of shoving food in my face. Thank you. Farewell! Maiden? Where's my defense at? 92. Uh, well... Nah. Let's keep going a little while longer. It's really tempting to, um... It's... Boop! Don't stand in that. Oh, that messes... That messes me up. That's one of the things that's actually dangerous to me. Poison. Hmm. Oh, he'll just be... Why can't I hit this guy? It's also this guy over here, who is uh, not having a good time. Suffice to say. Yeah, let's not go down either. Yeah, so if I do make it to hell, which I might. Uh, if I make it to hell, I'll probably... Uh, If I make it to hell, I'll probably get the food buff that makes it so I don't take elemental damage. Because that's probably kind of helpful. Yeah, the one weapon I'd switch out for, I think, would be the, uh, the princess. Uh, the, the magical girl wand or whatever. Oh, shoot. Two, two chests in one room. Nice. Helpful. Even. What if the boss is going to be a pushover now? No idea. None of these are particularly helpful. We should probably go up to the uh, altar. I've got a lot of items that i got to get rid of. The Ring of Healing is stupid on this build. Yup. Uh, nah, that's bad. Can't lose that. Can't lose that. Gladys is kind of nice. Just in case I decide to go melee. Evasion. I don't think I need the blunderbuss anymore. Keep the monocle. Let's lose that. Keep that. I could potentially self-heal over the course of the uh, boss fight. Probably not. Yeah, it, this, it feels like this run wanted me to go hand crossbow, honestly. But I did not. Okay, let's nothing. Go back over here. I'm really starting to fade, but I'm committed to dumb meme builds, even if it uh, means I'm going to be a little bit non-functional for it. I got stunned. I don't like getting stunned. You won't like me when I'm not stunned. Ow. I should probably stop taking so much damage, though. I'm just... Part of the reason why I wanted to go to a defense build is like, well, I'm tired. What's a build that will win? The answer is the build that doesn't take damage. There she is. That's a really cute image that they chose for... Or image? At, like, I know... Succubus, whatever. I'm gonna just take the damage. It does one damage a tick. Oh, that's funny. I don't know. This is probably one of the cutest, like, styles for pixel art I've seen in a while. Like, there's some pretty good pixel art out there, and this does not... I don't think this really qualifies as, like, the height of pixel art by any means. Ow. Um, but I do have to say I appreciate the art style a lot. It reminds me of Magisite or Roguelands, but without being kind of garbage. Because, like, I liked the idea of Magisite. You know what? Except for the fact that this game doesn't have the crafting system or the, like, terrible game design. This actually reminds me of what I probably wanted out of Magisite. Because I, I just, I 
couldn't like, I couldn't bring myself to like Magicite in the slightest. It just didn't feel good. And Rogue Lands was a little bit better, but wasn't like a roguelike anymore. It was kind of its own thing. Um, which was appreciated. Oh, don't do that. Ow. Okay, so I have enough for crit. Yeah, 5% crit. Seeing as I'm using this throwing knife kind of consistently here. Oh, no healing items in here. That's different. Rogueland still felt unfinished when you last played it. It's because that developer doesn't know how to make a good game. Like, that developer has interesting ideas, but he doesn't know how to, like, really make a good game. And so what he does instead... What he does instead... What he does instead is he just... I just took a bomb to the face and was fine. That's pretty funny. Christ. I should have maybe picked a melee weapon. Maybe? I don't know. I'm doing okay. The main... Well, I was pretty wounded pre-fight. The main problem is just I can't kill anything particularly fast. Much as my much of my damage is entirely reliant on um Oh, I still took damage from that. Ah, shit. There we go, got him. <sighs> but yeah, so Roguelands was kind of an idea. It was a better Magicite. I mean it was Magicite 2.0. With better ideas and, and practice and whatnot, which, you know, I can respect. Um, but the problem was, like, he, he effectively made, like, really bland core gameplay loot. And it's like, you know what people like? Uh, loot grinding! And never really changed the gameplay beyond just, like, go up and hit or shoot things. This run almost ended. I would have been okay with that, honestly. I'm very tired. Like, this is probably not going to pan out the way I want it to. But who knows? Who knows how it's going to go? Main problem is I just don't do damage. This is why uh, putting points into power is so necessary. Because, like, holy shit, enemies uh, have a lot of HP. Ah! Oh, that barely did damage to me. I'm still taking hits, though. I'm not as invincible as I'd like to be. But that's okay. I've, I've learned. I mean, it's awkward. I mean, to some degree... To some degree, it feels like this might just be a little bit better. Luckily, you can stun lock those guys so they can't hit you. I'm actually doing fine. I was a little bit scared there, but we're doing okay. Mainly have, uh, that. Mainly because, uh, the, the healing ring plus this build is stupid. And this does actually prove something. That the translation's wrong about what defense does. It's not a flat reduction. It's close. Uh, I could get some more crit. Would be nice. Can't do it. Through Midas. Nope. All this stuff is garbage. Let's see. Oh, I do Vermintide 2 with my channel. I should... Yeah, I'll see if I can get some keys for Vermintide 2. I've actually never played Vermintide 1, so I wouldn't mind doing like a... A Vermintide 1 and 2 series. Main problem is we've also got uh, Deep Rock Galactic. We've got... Uh, I have so many games to play. I've got Deep Rock Galactic. Uh,
I've got Deep Rock Galactic, I've got Heroes of Hammer Watch, I've got Children of Mordo, which I could actually play solo. What I need to do is probably meet some new YouTubers. I I could probably play with Bird. Well, no, I don't know. It really depends on like how amenable uh, Keith, Bird, and company are to everything. Is Deep Rock Galactic going to be a series? I think it's going to be... So, here's the thing. I think we're probably going to... Ah, stupid little bomber jerk. Let's see. Ow. Nope. Not, not ow. Barely ow. I would really like another dwarf armor, honestly. But I think everybody would enjoy playing more Deep Rock Galactic. I don't know how much of a series it's going to be just because of how Deep Rock Galactic works. Like, it might just be one of those where Deep Rock Galactic is a, uh, is a game that we play when we feel like playing Deep Rock Galactic. Um, but I will gladly play Deep Rock Galactic for, you know, the next week or so. Did we? Ah, we got gold candy. Kind of useful. I want to see the unlocks. Unfortunately, I don't know if there's much for unlocks in the game. Like, it seems like its progression system is pretty bland. Which is part of the reason why I was, like, iffy on it. Talk to Vac about Children of Morta. Maybe? I don't know. I, I would like to find some, uh... Bug some YouTubers about games that, uh... Are in time zones that I can... You know, time zone? Uh... Because I like playing with the guy. It's already, like, proving to be really fun. But I also wake up and I'm a zombie and I'm like, uh... This is, I, like, I am super nocturnal. I should maybe just use this thing. It cuts my defense by a bit, but it is... Got a little bit more range. Ah, nope, not, not a problem. None of this is a problem. I'm so tanky. What about John Bane? Maybe. My problem is anytime I ever contact John Bane, we like agree to do something and then neither of us follows up on it. Because he's busy with his own show. He's also really big into the sandbox stuff, and I'm much more of a like co op indie game. Hmm. Got anything else? No, I don't think I've got anything. You can use this shield with the. <gasps> you can use the shield with the boomerang! I thought this was a two hander. My damage is still crap, but that's fine. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know. I could ask people. Or I could just play, like, Children of Morta solo. That one's less important, because there's tons. Okay, uh, let's see. So, defense. What's my defense now? 97%. Uh, let's see. I'm going to lose the green bat for a little while, I think. 102. Where's the door? Door's over here? I don't know if I take damage. Okay, nope, I took damage. I took six damage from that. So I can take damage from these things. But it might be elemental damage. I don't know if I can take physical. No, I can take physical damage. I just have such a high defense. I have such a high physical defense. That's better. Honestly, uh, I should probably go back to the throwing knife just because it's a little bit more immediately applicable. Grass is greener on the other side and so on and so forth. Let's take this off, put this on, put this on. I don't think I have any other offhands. Take this off, put the green bat on. Yeah, so... It's not a percentage reduction. The hell kind of that hurt. Oh, hey, guess what? 
We got the, uh, the only other weapon that I said I was going to consider. I'll go with that for now. Okay, uh, so the other thing I could possibly consider doing is switching out... Yeah, goodbye green bat. Hello ring. So my defense is taking a bit of a hit, but my power just went up by 50. Fuck you. Yeah, so it's not perfect damage reduction, but it is... I think it's some kind of uh, diminishing return system for damage reduction, as far as defense goes. Um, and I don't know what it is. But whatever it is, uh, having a really high defense is kind of key to victory in a lot of cases. I will probably want to get some raw physical uh, next time, though. I like going crit, uh, especially if I can start with throwing knife someday. And I'll absolutely have to make sure that I do a run with that. But, uh, for now, I mean, the thought experiment worked. We might even make it to the next boss. We might even make it past the next boss. Bah! Just because I do so much damage. Oh, that's a new one. The inventory is full. Ah, crap. Uh, let's see. What do I have? What can I have? I get out of here. Cloth armor. Hello, tower shield. Uh. Okay, so we gotta we gotta go find something else. We gotta go find the shop, or ideally the altar. I guess I'll go down here. Yeah, I might have physical immunity. They could just be doing fire damage on hit. You are correct about that. There's a couple of things that could work. Anyway, let's tribute some stuff. Yeah, I'll tribute the boomerang. And maybe I'll keep the boomerang, get rid of the everything else. Well, we're gonna max out my tribute at least pretty quick. I really wish tributing was, uh, was like a permanent upgrade system though. Uh, just because like, I'd be great if I could like, it'd be great if I could permanently upgrade, oh boy. It'd be great if I could permanently upgrade my, um, my like short sword to not suck. Like, I think that's actually what this game needs because it's got a really cool talent tree system and I like the fact that you can find new equipment but having the ability to um, having the ability to permanently upgrade like your weapons to not be garbage would be really nice. Uh, let's see, what's the effect on the shield? Uh, okay, so I can pull it up. Uh, defense 20, 8 block, and heavy stands raise shield to block all damage for 3 seconds. Cooldown 10. You can't attack while blocking. My defense is perfectly at 100. Ah, panic button. But it does leave me incredibly tanky. Okay, so I could keep pumping defense, but that might not be a good idea. I could go some max HP. 24 max health? Yeah, let's get that. Let's see, can reload while blocking. Oh, that's makes sense. Is that it? Oh no. We're still missing this side. I was like, how have I not run into Croc yet? There you are. I was really hoping, I'm really hoping we can find another suit or two of, uh... A, su a suit or two of, uh... Dwarf armor, because if I can get the dwarf armor, I become ridic- More dwarf armor, I become ridiculous. That is not a very interesting item to get from that chest. So you can block and reload. Yup. 
Okay, now we're good to go. That was 11th floor. Well, uh, let's see. 86. Yeah, I can't fit anything else in anyway. So you should probably get the resistance food. It's too late now! What the? Okay, so this is the way down. It looked like it was a lava pit. Hello! Oh. Envy Rock. Little Lord of Devil. I think they mean Little Lord of Hell. I think I blocked that. I'm not entirely sure. I think that one that does one damage to me. Hello. I think that's supposed to slow you down, maybe? I could be wrong. Oh, I'm on fire. Fire is the only Yeah, I gotta get that resistance food. Cause yeah, I'm gonna die with that. The resistance food! Oh, yeah, we're burning to death. Because if I had uh, the fire resist food, we'd be golden. But unfortunately, I am dying fairly handily. Then again, like, this is a super niche build. I have one HP. And I'm dead. Well, that's fine. We did pretty dang good for envy, uh, for getting this far, when I'm really tired and not giving a whole lot of shit, uh, getting giving. Uh, next time I'm not gonna bother going for crit, I'll just save up for pure attack power or something like that. And honestly, like, the full defense build, while really cool, uh, is something that I think I'm gonna focus on once I have, uh, a couple more levels under my belt. I like this character, though. I'll probably keep playing him. Over anybody else. Anyway, I got two more two more points. I'm just gonna put them into power. Cause uh attack power is nice. So question. If I go back to her, if I have 20 wrath, that's 60 power? Really? Holy shit, yeah, it's just a 60% damage up. Yeah, that's only a 10% crit buff. And 10%... Yeah, well, I don't know. I gotta farm some more levels, unfortunately. And don't forget, you can become invulnerable with that shield. Oh yeah, I was just... It's 2.30 in the morning. I am dead tired. If I had made it further, I would have actually been disappointed. Play the silhouette guy with the intention to evade. I don't know if I can pump evasion as much as you want me to. I can look into it, though. That would be interesting. Dungeon sucked up 15 from your 19. Uh, so what the dungeon does is it sucks up gold uh, down to a, a like a certain threshold. Uh, so because I'm level X, it only lets me keep Y. And I don't know what the math is for it because I haven't bothered to think about it. I could probably put together some kind of formula, but I just don't give a shit. It's not like double my level. Might be like, uh, nope, I have no idea. I'm too tired to care. Good night, everybody.